A very good morning. My name is Alok Srivastava and I welcome you once again to Network Nuts YouTube channel. So the summers are here again. Needless to say, as the background says by itself, that it's really hot. Hot by hot here means I'm referring to the weather, not to the babe and the beach here. Okay, now let's focus once again to the topic. What's in this video? In this video, I am going to show you how to audit the file for the changes. Like suppose you have got some important files like etc password, etc shadow or some other file that is very important for you and you want to track that when somebody has accessed that file or make some modification in that file. How to do those things. So those are very important things as far as the administration is concerned. So let's see. Once again, I have my trusted virtual machine here. I have a user here rn I am logging with rn I give the password I, obviously I am not going to share you the password I am very smart ha ha fine here I am ok I log in with the root because I need to have the root rights for doing all this thing so here I am logging with the root actually Linux has give, has a daemon here audit d daemon audit the daemon is actually used to audit the records on the files or the folders or the location and it write onto the disk and the default rules are mentioned in a file there etc audit and audit dot rules by default nothing is here it's just a blank file so i'm supposed to write my rules here where it is mentioned there feel free to add here that's great but first thing first if you if you are not getting the file then the first thing is that you need to install the package yum install audit so in my case it is already being installed just wait for a moment that's great and make sure you start the service audit d restart and better put it under check config that makes sense now what next okay I'll just make the font much better for you that's good no oh, it's same I'm stupid actually fine now the package has been installed you had started the service what next like suppose I want to monitor my etc shadow file that I, I want to check when my users are changing their passwords by running the password command of course or when they are trying to access the file so the case is very simple when you install the audit package you have a tool there audit ctl audit ctl hyphen w and then give the file name that you wish to monitor in my case i give etc shadow and what are the permissions means what you are going to monitor i says i'm going to monitor any read attempt write attempt execute attempt and append so means even if somebody is trying to do a cat it it should be monitored or if somebody is is successfully executed the password command it should be monitored and if it is appended it should be monitored that's great and then after this you are you supposed to assign a key file say I give here shadow hyphen file it can be any name if you wish I can just like this that's great so here I give audit ctl hyphen w then the file that I wish to monitor then the permissions read write execute and append I'm monitoring all these things and the shadow file and the key is or the string is shadow file it can be any name just press enter here that's great job is done now what how can I check it okay to check it what I do here I open one more terminal now alok is trying oh sorry rn is trying to change the password I had already written the audit the rules for the that I am monitoring the file now rn is trying to modify the or is trying to change the password obviously he will be giving the password command he give the current password and the new new password obviously I'm not going to share you the password I'm very smart I think 
that's great so authentication has been updated successfully i go back how the root will be checking it there's a very beautiful command au search hyphen f etc shadow or the file that you are monitoring and hyphen i hyphen i actually converts the uids gids and all the things into human readable format just press enter here if you see there at the bottom the current time is 11:16 so here it is type syscall message audit the current date the time at which it is being executed the event was successful means the guy had successfully att attempted this who has done this look here uid rn gid rn and for you i'm just showing you the important things those are relevant for you at this stage so just take care of the timestamp whether the uh, attempt was successful or not and who has executed it and what command he has executed look he has executed the command password and the binary was there usr bin password so by this you will be able to check or trace that who had done a successful or an unsuccessful attempt on the shadow file so you can use the same rule for any of your files that's great but the point is that okay now let's try to have some unsuccessful attempt now rn is trying to cat etc shadow obviously it it will not be allowed now let's see what he the audit has stored in it i'll give the command again if you see here now it gives you the current time obviously the time is increased by it's now 11:18 that's great success is no and the error was permission denied the command was executed by rn and what command he has executed cat command and this is the binary he is trying to execute bin cat so in this manner you are able to successfully trace what is going on or who is trying to do what on your important files and the folders by using a simple audit daemon now friends here is a catch the command that i had given here this command is not permanent as soon as you reboot the machine this particular audit rule will be lost then what to do very simple open the main conf file audit dot rules if you remember i had shown you the file and just write the same rule here etc shadow permissions are read write execute append and hyphen k shadow file need not to write the audit ctl here because you are actually auditing the main configuration file or like i'm sorry editing the main configuration file of the audit so just keep on writing your own rules here keep on writing more rules here 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 keep on add adding i just given you a very simple example about the possibilities or that can be achieved or that can be done in monitoring your server so just save and come out i am making it permanent save and come out and if i reboot the machine and if i then it will again be stored if you wish i can just do a reboot here i had successfully done it here and if if i do a reboot the changes will be saved and i will be able to audit audit the file even after the subsequent reboots so in this manner you are able to, to audit the files or the locations that are important or critical for you i really encourage you to read the man of audit ctl and i encourage you to read the man of au search so that you will be able to find much more options and the flexibility that the audit ctl and a and the au search gives you so i hope you like this small video but a very important one i think and see you again next time with something new and i think by the time i'll be hitting the beach not with this babe obviously bye see you take care god bless